and welcome to our kids service. We're so excited for you to see everything that we have for you. But before we do that, we need you to stand up, make some room because we're gonna jump into some worship. Okay, Mr. Jake, you've got this. Just one more set of three. Dude, I don't think I can. You I'm got like, this. I believe in you. I don't know, man. One. <laughs> Come on. Come on, two more. <laughs> two. One more. Last one. Three. Oh, oh. Good, good. Oh. Great job. Oh, man. Dude. Great job. Well, dude, the working out sure takes a lot of commitment. Oh. Oh hey fellow workout buddies, I hope you came ready to work up a sweat because we're here to continue our training camp. At the end of the month, we'll get to compete in an epic obstacle course. 
So we need to spend the next few weeks planning, practicing, and growing. That will take some big time commitment. Commitment is making a plan and putting it into practice. You need commitment if you want your body to grow stronger, but even more important than that, you need commitment in order to grow stronger in your faith. So all month long, we're looking at some steps we can take and habits we can practice that will help us grow in our relationship with God. Yeah. One habit we can get into is memorizing our big answer every week. What is the big answer? Well, it's the answer to the big question. This is the question you should get from that important adult in your life, and that is, what did you learn in kids' church today? Our big answer for today is practice praying to God. And our memory verse for this series comes from the book of 1 Timothy, and it says, training the body has some value, but being godly has value in every way. It promises help for the life you are now living and the life to come. That's from 1 Timothy verse 4, chapter 4, verse 8. As you know, this month we're coming up with a, a training plan with some important ways that we can grow in our faith. If we can be committed to this plan and put into practice, we'll grow stronger in our relationship with God. Yeah. Last week, we talked about how we can grow by hearing from God. And we can do that by reading the Bible. For the next part of our plan, we'll take a look at something Jesus taught that we can find in the book of Matthew. Matthew is one of the four Gospels that tell us the life of Jesus. Starting in Matthew chapter 5, we read about a time when Jesus went up on a mountainside and sat down to teach his followers. The things that Jesus taught there have come to be known as the Sermon on the Mount. In this sermon, Jesus shared what it means to be part of God's kingdom. In Matthew 5, 3, he said, Blessed are those who are spiritually needy. The kingdom of heaven belongs to them. In other words, the people who are most blessed are actually those who are humble and honest and admit they need help. Jesus continues in Matthew 5, 4, and 9, Blessed are those who are sad. They will be comforted. Blessed are those who make peace. They will be called children of God. Jesus also explained how we should treat each other in God's kingdom with kindness, compassion, and integrity. But he said that we shouldn't do things just to be seen by others. You see, God's kingdom is never about looking better and more perfect than someone else. Mm -hmm. That even goes for the way we talk to God in prayer. Here's what Jesus had to say about that. In Matthew 6, verses 5 and 6, Jesus says, When you pray, do not be like those who only pretend to be holy. They love to stand and pray in the synagogues and on the street corners. They want to be seen by other people. When you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your Father who can't be seen. Hut, hut. That doesn't mean you can only talk to God in your room, mm -hmm. but it does mean that prayer should never be for show. It's about real, honest conversation between you and God. Mm, that's good. Then Jesus went on to give an example of how we can pray. This prayer is often called the Lord's Prayer, mm. and it's been spoken by believers all over the world for nearly 2,000 years. It's a great one to memorize and say exactly as Jesus said it. Or you can say the same kind of ideas, but in your own words. Jesus said it this way. This is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, may your name be honored. May your kingdom come. May what you want to happen be done on earth as it is done in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins, just as we also have forgiven those who sinned against us. Keep us from sinning when we are tempted. Save us from the evil one. That's from Matthew 6, 9 through 13. Let's break this down a little bit. Jesus started by saying, Our Father in heaven, may your name be honored. Jesus taught that we can call on God as our loving Father. We can honor God and thank God for being so good. Then Jesus said, May your kingdom come. 
may what you want to happen be done on earth as it is done in heaven. We can ask God to help us show love to people around us. We can ask God to help us see things that are wrong and help us work to make them right. <clears throat> we can make we can think about what God is doing in the world around us and ask God to help us be part of that. The next part of Jesus' prayer is, give us today our daily bread. We can ask God for things we need each day. That includes our food, of course, but we also need the wisdom, patience, and joy God gives us so we can share God's love with the people around us. Then we have the last part, and forgive us our sins, mm -hmm. just as we also have forgiven those who sinned against us. Keep us from sinning when we are tempted. Save us from the evil one. None of us are perfect. We mess up every day. Mm -hmm. But God has invited us to ask for forgiveness when we know we've done something wrong and we know for sure God will forgive us. We can ask God to help us make better choices in the future and show love to God and others, even in tough situations. Yeah. Since we know what it's like to be forgiven, we can then offer forgiveness to others. We can ask God to help us choose to forgive other people instead of trying to get even. Your version of this prayer can fit the unique way God made you. It might go something like this. Dear God, Thank you for being a good father. Please make everything right in our world, just like it is in heaven. Show me how I can be part of what you're doing in this world around me. Please give me everything I need today so I can share your love with others. Forgive me for the wrong things I've done and help me to forgive others just as quickly. When I'm tempted to make the wrong choice, please give me the strength to choose wisely. Whether you take time in a quiet moment to pray this whole prayer or quickly cry out to God for help in a tough situation, God hears every word. Yeah, he does. God will be with you through it all. Maybe you've been praying to God for a while, or maybe you're just getting started. Remember, you can follow the outline Jesus gave us in the Lord's Prayer, but you can also simply tell God what's in your heart or what you need in the moment. You can talk to God anytime, anywhere, and about anything. You can talk to God while you're eating dinner with your family. You can pray at bedtime and thank God for all the good things in your life. You can be honest and talk to God when you feel worried or sad. Talking to God during those moments is a great way to remember that you're not alone and that you can trust God no matter what. Let's make this part of our training plan. Let's put in Let's put it into practice every day. Just like our big answer says, practice praying to God. Okay, Mr. Travis, it's your turn. Okay, let's see what you got. Come on, you got it, let's go! Woo! He's so strong! Come on, yes, three! Great job. I'm so proud of you. It's awesome. It's time for Memory Verse Breakdown! Hey kids, today we're going to break down this week's Memory Verse. Are you ready? Okay, here's this week's Memory Verse. Think you've got it? Try saying it out loud. All right, let's take some words away. You think you still got it? Try saying it out loud again. All right, let's bring those words back in and see how you did. Did you get it right? Awesome! Well, that's this week's Memory Verse Breakdown. How'd you do? Memory Verse Breakdown!
Everybody, on your feet. Because it's time to play Will It Crush? Today's challenge will be for you to decide if Tiny, our five-ton African bush elephant, will crush the item on the screen. Here are the rules. I'll show you one item. If you think Tiny will crush it, give me two thumbs up. But if you think the item is too tough for Tiny to crush, then give me two thumbs down. If you're wrong, take a seat. But if you get it right, stay standing. Everybody got it? All right, let's play Will It Crush? The first item is a soda can. Will Tiny crush it? Remember, two thumbs up if you think Tiny will crush it, and two thumbs down if you don't. Time's up. Let's see what happens. Totally crushed. Well, that was uh, awesome. The next item is a car. Will Tiny crush it? A car is a lot bigger than a soda can. What do you think will happen? Time's up. Let's see what Tiny will do. Whoa! Totally crushed again! All right, the next item is... Uh, mouse? Wait, are we sure this is right? Uh, okay, will Tiny crush it? Time's up. Let's see what Tiny will do. Uh, look away, kids. <laughs> wow, so Tiny is terrified of mice. Totally not crushed. The next item is a marshmallow. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Will Tiny crush it? Time's up! Let's see what Tiny will do. The marshmallow is invincible. Totally not crushed! Next up, it looks like we have a fancy dinner plate. Will Tiny crush it? Time's up! Let's see what Tiny will do. Totally crushed! Well, that was an epic crush. This is our last item. It's a bottle of ketchup. What do you think? Will Tiny crush it? Let's see what Tiny will do. Whoa! Ho, ho, ho! Totally crushed again! Well, that's all for today. Thanks for playing. Will it crush? Thank you so much for being with us today. Before you leave, have that important adult in your life go to lifechurchgreenbay.com slash kids where you can grab our Kids Connect card. There you can discuss our big answer, memory verse, and even more. We love you so much. Have a great week.